All right, well, make some plans to get out and enjoy some music, but not just any concert, the Jacksonville Symphony, and they have a unique opportunity for you. That's right, and Courtney Lewis is the music director, and Courtney Bryan is the Mary Carr Patton composer in residence. Welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you. All right, so uh, I've heard of a DJ in residence uh, in Vegas <laughs> and stuff, but what is a composer in residence? Well, we wanted to create a new position at the Jacksonville Symphony, um, somebody who would be connected to the orchestra for a long time, um, who would get to know the community, who would then write us a piece. And we did a search all over the country, and um, we were really excited to find Courtney Bryan, who's with us today, um, who's a wonderful composer. And um, we've been playing her music over the last couple of seasons. But next week, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we give the world premiere of a new piece that Courtney has written especially for Jacksonville and the Jacksonville Symphony. It's awesome. Wow, okay, so Courtney, how does it feel to have a world premiere of a piece? It's really exciting. I mean, a lot has gone into this. Um, it was around two years ago when I first was contacted by the symphony and then had a chance to get to know Courtney and get to know um, members of the orchestra a certain amount. You know, I got a chance to go to the concerts. So it's really great that it's coming up. I mean, a lot of research has gone into it and just experiences. Um, some of the research included going to some of the museums in the city, like Mosh and Cummers and Ritz Museum and others. Yeah. And um, also visiting different historical sites um, like Kingsley Plantation and American Beach and Jack's Beach, well, historical and present sites. Um, and the, the main inspiration really was uh, visiting the schools. So I visited a number of schools um, between elementary, junior high, and high school, um, public, private, charter, so like a, a big mix of schools. And what we did was a project called Sounds of Your Neighborhood. So we yeah. had them improvise. Um, improvise sounds of their neighborhood and then just this week they're, they're working on taking that improvisation process and learning how to uh, compose a piece without having to um, do like a certain traditional notation just like the idea that you know everyone can compose and so um, we've been doing these workshops and the ideas that they came up with in their improvisation has really informed the way that I wrote my piece about Jacksonville. This wow. is fascinating. So I take it, I, you, you seem like one of the people that when you just stare at a place or stare at art, you actually hear music. So is that kind of like, what's the process? This is the, this is the entire composition here, the score, um, which is fascinating in itself and what you guys look at when you're up there um, doing your thing. How, how do you start and write the first note? How does this work? Yeah, so I so over time with my different visits, I would collect just different um, ideas, not so much musical ideas yet, but I would just have a, a certain response to a, a place that I visited or something that I learned about Jacksonville, even to the architecture or some of the items in a museum. You wrote based off and, an emotion. Yeah, emotion and, and researching like some of the history. So, so some of it was more like, oh, I want to tell a story, and then others of it was maybe an emotion I had while driving across the bridge from here to there. So in composing it, it's basically the, the piece ends up being a ser is like vignettes. So um, instead of like telling a story the way you would, you know, beginning, middle, end, it's like, okay, I had this experience and so I have music that represents that experience and it goes to a whole different one, but it's all different. Um, um, different experiences, even including the chant Duval. Yeah, so that's in there. I love it. <laughs> yes. He got it all in there. Oh, it's, it's, it's funny that you say that because I experience the same thing as I drive over the bridge, just whatever emotion you're feeling, sometimes you try to find music to match that. Mm -hmm. So where can people hear your, uh, the music? Well, I hope you, I hope people can come next week. Yes, so. tell us all about the details. Yeah, so maybe, and maybe Courtney can even say more about the Yeah, um, the details. Yep, so next Thursday, um, we have Symphony in 60, which is a concert at 6.30 that's only an hour long. And that's a really great thing to come to if you haven't been to the orchestra before, because it's very casual. You can have a cocktail as you listen to the music. Nice. Um, yep, there's a party afterwards. You can meet the musicians. That's on Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday next week, we have our regular classical concert series, which features Courtney's piece as well. And that's at 8 o'clock on Friday Love and Saturday. It. Tickets at jacksymphony.org. There you go. There's Courtney, all the Courtney, you thank you. I appreciate you it so much. much. <laughs> Pleasure. Fascinating. You can catch this information again on our website, firstcoastliving.net.